Hey you guys, welcome back to the second round on the Jazz. So today I wanna to go through and strip some weight from the car. Now before we do get too busy with our lockdown mods, I do just wanna quickly explain what the car's actually gonna be used for because it's gonna affect how it's being stripped. Now, although we're building a budget track car, it is still street registered and I plan on keeping it that way as long as possible. Now, I'm not gonna be able to strip it to the full tin can, but I am gonna go through now and show you exactly what we're gonna get done. All right, so what am I gonna pull out of the car to achieve the weight that I wanna achieve? So to start up the front here, there actually isn't a lot I'm gonna pull out of the engine bay. So as I mentioned before, electric power steering tucks it up out of the way, so I don't need to rip any of that off. I'm gonna pull this heat shield off the exhaust. That is just gonna be dead weight. Uh, I was gonna pull the air conditioning out of it, but I'm starting to have second thoughts on that. The weather is, is getting quite a bit nicer, so. I may leave that in. If I get desperate, I'll rip it out. I'll see how I go. In the front bar here, you're gonna have a Rio up behind here. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, gonna get rid of the airbox and make a basic sort of intake. Um, but I mean, that's pretty well it for the front. There'll be sort of covers underneath the front and stuff I'll get out as well. Um, I'll come back to wheel tires and everything down the track when we do that, but there will be some weight to be shed there as well. Uh, but on the outside of the car, look, there really isn't too much more. Um, in the boot, there's gonna be a little bit as well. So uh, obviously rear seats are coming out rear cargo blinds coming out, uh, spare tire, jack, all that sort of junk is gonna go out as well. I'm gonna pull these rear covers off the back uh, and get the seat belts out as well, but I'll be putting those back on, that way the car just looks sort of in one piece. Uh, I will be ripping the carpet out as well, and, and you know, two-seater car, I'm not gonna have anything in the back. So the rear doors, I'm actually going to try and pull, this is a theory, um, pull the cover off, pull the speakers out, try and pull the central locking motors out, the power windows out, cut the insides of it out, put the cover back on and just jam the windows up. So pull a bit of weight out of it doing that. So I'll do that for both sides. Um, and in the front is gonna be pretty, not too much to be honest. So stereo is coming out. I'll make up some sort of blanking plate for that. Um, obviously carpets are going. I'll pull the front speakers out of the doors. Um, and I guess that's pretty well everything for the inside of the car. Now we'll proceed past that. Uh, I plan on pulling sand ending and stuff out as well. There's a little trick with dry ice that I've wanted to try for some time. So I'll get that done, rip all that stuff out and um, see how we go. So what I'm actually gonna do here is take everything out and I'm gonna chuck it over the side here. I'll come back at the end of the day with a pair of scales uh, and I'll just weigh and calculate everything. So that is the plan with that stuff there. Now I'm gonna do like a sort of mini task within this. Now when I was looking at stripping it, there was all sorts of argued information about how much it all weighed. So what I'm gonna do initially is I'm going to do the basic race pack day. So I'm gonna pull front seat, rear seat, seat belts, or oh, maybe not seat belts, front seat, rear seat, spare tires, jack, rip all that out, properly weigh that and show exactly what that weighs. And then we might do a quick comparison between that as well. But I'm getting off the camera, I'm getting on the tools, I'm going to rip it apart. First lot out. So that's front seat, rear seats, cargo blind, spare tire, rear cover, jack and tools and stuff in there. So that's what I would consider your, I don't know, first go to point of stripping the car for the track stuff. So I'm going to weigh that stuff and we'll see what it measures up at. Alrighty, off to a strong start. A lot stronger than I thought actually. So just to run through what I've got behind me here. So the front seat, 17.7 kilos. The rear seat, the small side, uh, 13 kilos. The larger side was 18. The spare tire, as you can see, I've got like a full size spare, it's not like a space save or anything. Um, that was 14.6. The rear cargo blind, 2.1. The boot carpet was 1.8. The jack and the tools, 2.1. Total of 69.3 kilos, which is huge. I'm nearly two thirds there with just the basic sort of stuff ripped out. The front seat will be going back in obviously for good, but I've obviously got a ton of stuff here to keep going with. So I'm... Uh, Pretty surprised we'll continue what we're doing all right quick update making a bit of a mess here but uh what else did you expect so i've gone and got all the carpeting stuff out so i've moved the original pile of stuff that's come out and is staying out around the corner get out of the way got carpet mats and um i'm just keeping this crate 
full of just all the trim pieces and everything, so I'll pull them out at the end. Both seats are out, uh, and the car is pretty well nude. So just while I'm in there, I've got this rubbery sound ending stuff still to come out. I'll rip that out. Any of these air ducts I'm not going to need, they're a passenger type thing. Stereo speakers, rear doors. Um, I'll just follow this back now and pull the rear quarters off, get those seat belts out. Um, we'll keep trekking from there. So I've got all the quarter panels off. I was hoping there would be just some excess webbing or whatever I could chop out, save some weight, but it's all pretty tight in there, so I won't worry about any of that. Um, I'm about to pull the seat belts out of the back here. Um, I'll probably put these side panels back on for the weight difference it's going to be. It's probably not going to really cause as much of an issue. I'll pull this upper seatbelt clip out. I'll do the same on the other side. Uh, make sure this is all tidied up. Now, there is a lot of sound ending in the car. I'm not even going to bother trying to pick that up until I get some dry ice, otherwise it'll just take me forever. So I'll come back to that. And up the front here, you've got this padding. I already took a layer of it off, but you've got another layer that sort of goes up under the firewall. I'm not going to be able to get right up underneath and get all of it, so I might just start cutting it away and pull off as much as I can. Any other spare covers that are just doing nothing, I'll get rid of as well. Um, but I'll get the back apart, back together. Um, then I'll pull apart the door trims and see if I can get these rear doors done up and then we'll, we'll go from there All right painful but done uh, both sides in both regs out and I've just sort of drilled some holes um, Where the old window Where it mounted to the regulator kind of thing. I use those factory bolt holes of the window and uh, it's up So nice and solid. That's rear doors done big day. Um, we're nearly done It's gonna be a, a two-day thing which I didn't expect to do. I thought it'd be done in a couple of hours But it's just the way it goes everything's done speakers are at all four doors window mech is out of the rear doors Wiper out of the back, seat belts, everything gone. Uh, as I mentioned, sound editing I'm going to come back to when I've got access to some dry ice and whatnot, so I can get that all ripped up properly. Um, through the dash, so I pulled the front speakers out of the doors. Uh, I was going to pull the stereo out of it. I didn't really think it through properly, but obviously you've got the AC controls on the bottom, which you can probably cut off and put back on, but I just sort of thought there might be another way to get this done, and I've realised you can actually just unscrew all the radio pieces and the display out from behind it. So there's a good kilo or so worth of crap I'll be pulling out the back of here. So that's all popped out now. I'll clip that back together. Um, and for now, I'm just going to go around under the dash. There's just covers underneath. Just anything that's not doing anything is going to be it's going to be gone. So um, we'll stick with it. I'll probably wrap it up for now. Um, I'll give the inside a quick spray and, um, and a vacuum, and we'll call it one a day. All right, good morning, welcome back for the second day, uh, and we're into it. So I plan on getting the rest done today, mainly external of the car. I'm pretty sure I got the, the inside done yesterday anyway. So I'll show you in a minute, but I've got the seating center console back in, and that's pretty much it. The car's pretty well ready to go from there. Uh, now, I didn't sort of film as much yesterday as I wanted to between obviously being busy, had a flat camera, and uh, the memory wasn't great either. So I just kind of filmed little bits and pieces that I could. So I'm gonna try and do a little bit better job today. Uh, now, before I do go any further, I wanna explain I guess the four key areas I want to address with the car. So first of all, obviously the weight. So we're stripping the weight out of it. Benefits for that are everything, really. It's going to help acceleration, braking, handling, the whole lot. Um, it is a bit time consuming, as you can see, but um, relatively cheap exercise to do. So we'll get that out of the way. The second and third task, and I'm not sure which order I'm going to tackle these yet, are going to be brakes. Uh, so we're going to upgrade the fronts and disc the rear. Um, and also suspension, so sway bars, springs, coilovers, whichever way I decide to go with that as well. So we're gonna get that done also. The fourth element's gonna be power. Now, I'll leave this to last because I've got no idea how I wanna do this. Whether I keep it NA, uh, maybe throw some boltons and a tune at it and see what I can get the 1.5 at. Maybe I'll look at forced induction, supercharger, turbocharger. Maybe I'll look at an engine swap going to the, the Civic 1.5 turbo, maybe K series, I don't know yet to be honest, but we will get to that when we get to that. So I'll show you what I've got done here. So that's pretty much what you're gonna see from the front. Obviously no carpet, no floor. Now I was extremely confident yesterday after pulling the basic sort of stuff out, seats and spare tire and stuff as to the weight we pulled out of, I thought this is gonna be a walk in the park, this is gonna be easy. As I proceeded through the rest of the day, I noticed my pile wasn't exactly growing as much as I thought it would. Uh, so I started getting a little bit worried. So the first thing I decided to, to do this morning was to come out and weigh everything and sort of see where I'm at. That'll sort of determine how aggressive I've got to be today to get to that magic 100 kilo mark. So I've gone through, weighed everything, done a bit of calculation. So with what I pulled out so far, 
Um, so carpet and sound deadening, uh, between those I'm about 9 kilos. Uh, the floor mats, 3.1. Uh, the stereo and speakers was only 3.1 kilos. That was a bit of work for not a lot of weight. Same with the window regs. That was only 2.4 for both window regs. Seat belts. So the, the top center one either side was 3.2 kilos. I've got my miscellaneous bucket there with just extra brackets and handles and like the rear wiper motor and just all that crap. All the miscellaneous stuff was 5.1. Uh, my bucket of bolts weighed a bit over a kilo and the sun visor and the handles around the roof weighed a bit under a kilo. So total out of the car so far i've pulled 94.1 kilos out so we're nearly on the money with that unfortunately because i put that that front seat back in i'm back at 76.4 kilos so i've still got 23 and a bit kilos to go to get to that magic 100 kilos so we're getting the front done now um i'll pull box the rebar and everything and we'll go from there Another quick check-in, uh, due to weight, with the seat in the car, we're at 88 or kilos. So we're about to approach that 10 kilo mark that we need to strip. There is still sound editing in the car. I'm not be able to get that done until I get dry ice and all that sort of stuff, but I'll leave that for now. Um, I still want to hit this 100 kilo mark. So I'm starting to get a little bit desperate here. Uh, I'm about to pull the wheel off and the inner guards out. That might be half a kilo there, a kilo between the two. Um, I've really gone through, I can't sort of see anything wasteful in here. Hubcaps have come off as well. I pulled the front mount off, A, because it was broken, and B, it looks pretty useless like the front of the EG ones. Um, I've got the other three main mounts in here. Um, I'm gonna go through and either get some stronger ones or polyfill those or something anyway, but um, fingers crossed. For the day give it a bit of a tidy up I've, I've got to find four kilos i cannot find it i've been through even the little nitty-gritty stuff i pulled the other uh trim seal out of the rear door see if that would help but that one actually leaked so i've got to put that one back in uh i pulled struts out of the rear door um covers off the cat i'm getting desperate all little stuff so the pile's got a fair bit of crap in it and we've got a bit of a messy i'll start cleaning that up but i'm very close four kilos uh, that's full trim, 100 kilos out the door, and air conditioning in. So we're well on track. Uh, I'm going to, as I leave it here for the day, I'm going to try and get some dry ice and do the actual sound deadening. So there's a quite a bit of it. There's a patch on the floor, a long patch under the seats, rear floors, subframe in the back there. There's actually, there's a fair bit of it. So that should get me there and only just. Um, so just got to try and track that down with COVID. I'll put the cover back on because Everyone needs to know that I've got VTEC. We will get some dry ice and try again. All right, welcome back to day three of our afternoon of stripping a car. So we're killing it with time, as you can see. Uh, now today we're gonna get the sound ending out of the car. Now before we get started, there's a lot of methods to doing this. Obviously you can do it without dry ice, but it's just a headache. I've done it once, I'll never do it again. Um, I've never done the dry ice technique before, but I've seen it done a bunch of times and it looks so easy that why not give it a go? So I'll explain some of the methods I guess you can do with the dry ice and stuff that I've seen. Done a lot of YouTube and internet searching to get this right and hopefully I'm gonna nail it here today. So the first of all is, and I guess it's due to supply, so you can get a big chunk of it, sort of break it down. And a lot of people mix iso prop, I can't say it, iso whatever alcohol in with it. And it kind of makes like a bit of a mush and that just makes it easier to disperse. Now. The problems with that is if you get mixtures wrong, um, if it's not the right consistency, not sort of dense enough, um, 
and of course if you don't use enough or too much it can melt it and make it go all funny now you can use it without the alcohol unfortunately you've really got to break it up right otherwise it isn't dense enough doesn't transmit heat well enough um, so the method I've gone with is pellet. I did recommend about three kilos. So I went there and asked for three kilos and the gentleman just said, I'll just give you a scoop and charge you for three kilos. So I don't know what a scoop is, we've got a scoop. So we're gonna go through and get that done now. Now there is some precautionary stuff to do with this. Um, you do need the right protective equipment, which I don't have, of course. Eye protection is probably a good one. Um, gloves and stuff as well. So I've managed to get around that with a barbecue scraper, <laughs> which is gonna be awesome. Uh, but I'm just going to lay it down, shuffle it around, and I'll go through that in a moment. So I've just got it laid out here. You can already hear it sort of cracking and working. So uh, the trick is, I guess, to, I guess when you've got pellets anyway, and you can sort of reuse it to an extent, halve your surface. So I'll start up the top here, lay it on here. Once that's finished cracking and moving, I'll kick it down the back there on that bottom piece and break this top stuff up. Same with this bottom piece here. So I've done half. When that sort of stopped cracking, kick the ice over there, smash it up, get it done. All right, quick check-in. We've done uh, the front bit, so you've really got to leave it to sit for a bit and give it a really good whack. Um, I guess that's the difference between the far side where I first started and this side. Um, I am running out. Uh, I probably should have got a scoop and a bit or whatever that equated, but hopefully I can spread that out. If not, I may have to bust the heat gun out and then give it a clean up and we're wrapped. So let's get this last bit finished. Now I'm gonna do another quick exercise for argument's sake. So these vertical pieces in the back, I mean, you're never gonna get dry ice on that. It's just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna try and do these bits with the heat gun. So I'll see, I guess, how much effort it takes, how long it takes, um, and what sort of mess is left over. I mean, it can't really be much worse than that far side, but I'll get the heat gun on now. We'll get these two bits pulled off and we'll check in with that. I've just gone through and peeled all the sound deading off this rear wall on the passenger side. So I'm gonna add that to my little bag, um, get that weighed, and see if we can crack that magic 100. All right, now that's gonna put a lid on our little weight cheating escapade. It certainly took a lot longer than anticipated, but um, I still had fun and load a bunch, and that's what it's about at the end of the day. So. We did hit our mark, and I only mean just. Uh, so the goal was 100 kilos, obviously. Two seats in the car, I desperately wanted to retain the air conditioning, and we only got there by 300 grams. So 100.3 kilos. I was a bit iffy, I thought I was being maybe a little bit over the top with some of the stuff I was pulling it out, but realizing now, I just wouldn't have got there if I didn't do it. So quite happy with that. I do have it laid out here in front of me. So I've got a bit of a list there of exactly what weighed what. So I'll pop that in there so you can have a bit of a look as well. Some people were quite curious um, with where the weight was. So I'm gonna continue by saying I will be developing the car from here. So weight is kind of kind of offset itself. Now I'm gonna be adding some stuff into it. I still need to put a basic intake on it. I need to put a fire extinguisher on it. I wouldn't mind getting some bracing in there as well. So obviously that's gonna add some weight, but at the same time, exhaust for example, uh, factory ones weigh a ton. So the aftermarket one, even though it's gonna be bigger, will be considerably lighter. Things like the wheels, um, putting an alloy wheel with a smaller tire on is gonna be lighter than the steel wheels with the factory rubber. So it's gonna kind of even itself out in the end. Now, 
I kind of know what I want to do setup wise for the car, just the engine. I've got no idea what I want to do. Uh, I wanted to keep the 1.5 to see what I could squeeze out of it. But at the end of the day, being a street car to a point, uh, I just don't think it's going to be enough for me. I'm kind of spoiled for choice here with um, some of the street cars. So I'm thinking we may have to put this one up a peg. So tell me what you think. I want your, your inputs for that. Um, but I'm pretty open for options. So that's it. I guess the only thing left to do is get the drag in it, go for a run and see exactly what difference 100 kilos makes.